All right, guys, as the title says, this is going to be a short, quick, not quite review, but is it worth it video on a half inch Craftsman Impact. So right off the bat, I want to be clear. I'm not doing one of those videos where I'm comparing it to some other high end brand seeing who out competes who. I sure as hell hope Milwaukee, D-Wall, all these high end brands will out compete this Craftsman one. What I'm here is for the guys who want to know, is this thing worth a hundred bucks? Now, to be clear, this is a couple of years old. When I bought it, they were selling for 119 bucks. They now have a new model that puts out a lot more torque for about 169, 179. And yes, I'm wearing my sunglasses inside just because some people commented saying they couldn't stand it. Well, too bad. Now I'm going to wear them all the time. So getting those things out of the way, what I'll start off saying is, was this $119 half inch cordless impact worth it? The answer is yes. Guys, I've had this, I actually have two of these. I have one for each of my trucks. Um, now that I only run one truck, I got this one in the shop and I got one bouncing around the truck. These things have spent hundreds of thousands of miles bouncing around a toolbox of a truck. They've gotten wet, they've gotten dropped off of trailers and they work great. If you are looking for a budget-friendly option just to get some side, you know, road repairs done much easier and a little less stressful, this is a great buy. Um, if you're a DIY guy or maybe you just, you know, rotate your own tires, change your own oil, do some shocks here and there, that type of thing, this is a great investment. I don't see halving or needing to go buy a $300 half inch impact to do those types of jobs. Um, again, I want to be completely clear for everyone who's going to jump on here and say, yeah, but this, this, and that. I know there's much better impacts out there. I just wanted to put this video out there because when I was trying to search for budget friendly options, basically everybody was just comparing high dollar versus high dollar or high dollar versus low dollar and make the low dollar look even worse than it is. I wanted to do a real world experience video on this impact. So the short and sweet of it, couldn't have spent a better hundred bucks, 120 bucks on something. Now, if you have one of these or you're looking at one of these and you're not quite impressed and you're running the two amp hour battery, I will tell you, there is a huge difference on performance and how long the battery lasts using the four amp hour battery. I don't waste my time using this with the two amp hour battery. So what I would advise if it was me and you're curious is I would absolutely say if you're just DIY in it, you're just doing your own auto repairs, you want something in your work truck or your personal truck just to make life easy, I would definitely recommend one of these. It's held up great. It's done everything I've asked it to. There's obviously, I'm not gonna lie, there's been times where, you know, like on a leaf spring bolt on a 40 foot gooseneck trailer with 12,000 pound axles, I had to break the nut a little bit loose with a breaker bar and then blast it off with this. But as far as doing like the tires, uh, shocks on the truck, um, a lot of things. This has handled it just fine with no issues. It's been durable. I don't really have any complaints. They have two speeds. Um, the only thing I would ask Craftsman is to quit putting the light down here because when you're up against something, as you can imagine, you're not getting any light. You can't, you know, you, you see what you see with the light. You don't see what you're working on. So it'd be nice if they put the lights up here down by the trigger mechanism, that'd be great. But other than that, guys, no complaints for the money spent. Um, I have this, I've kinda went the Craftsman route with most of my cordless tools, so it's kinda nice using this. I'll do some short reviews on the other cordless Craftsman tools I have. There's only been one that came out super disappointing that I wouldn't buy again unless they've done some serious changes on it. But if you're looking at a budget-friendly option, you don't want to drop three, four, five hundred bucks, you know, for if you buy the new one, you know, 150 to 175 bucks, you can get the new one, which puts out even more torque than this one. So I don't see why I'd have any further complaints 
by getting more torque, I mean, who cares? More is better, right? And you could buy one of these batteries with a charger. I always see them at Lowe's for like 49 bucks. Or sometimes you'll get one free if you buy a tool. So watch out for the sales, do whatever you gotta do. But if you're wondering, is it worth it? Will it be a piece of shit? Will it break and quit working in a year? I don't think so. This one and the other one, I mean, they've been through hell. They still work great. They do everything they need to do. No complaints.